ओम शांति गुड इवनिंग टू एवरी वन गुड इवनिंग सो वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू दिस ब्यूटिफुल एंड पीसफुल प्लेस शांति सरोवर फॉर टूडे संडे इवनिंग टॉक सो मे आई नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव कम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई सी मेनी न्यू फेसेस टूडे ओके सो स्पेशल वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू दिस फैमिली टू दिस गॉडली फैमिली ओके ओके सो फॉर यू पीपल हु हैव कम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई वुड लाइक टू स्टार्ट विद अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ब्रह्मा कुमारीज सो ब्रह्मा कुमारीज इज अ सोशल स्परिचुअल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच वॉज फाउंडेड बाई दादा लेख राज और ब्रह्मा बाबा इन नाइनटीन थर्टी सेवन एंड दिस वॉज स्टार्टेड विद द एम ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग दिस वर्ल्ड इन टू अ बेटर वन वी ऑल लुक फॉरवर्ड फॉर दैट राइट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू थिंक सो दैट शुड हैपन इज इंट इट ओके एंड दिस एक्चुअली कैन बी अचीव्ड विद द हेल्प ऑफ राजयोगा मेडिटेशन हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव डन राजयोगा मेडिटेशन अ फ्यू ओके क्वाइट ऑफ यू ओके सो राजयोगा मेडिटेशन हेल्प्स अस इन रियलाइजिंग आर ट्रू सेल्फ और इनकलकेटिंग वैल्यूज इन आर लाइफ और यू नो रियलाइजिंग और एक्सपीरियंसिंग द ट्रू और ओरिजिनल क्वालिटीज ऑफ द सोल राइट दैट हेल्प्स अस इन इन अ पीसफुल माइंड और ओवरकमिंग एंगर ओके एंड ओवरऑल दिस हेल्प्स अस इन क्रिएटिंग आर लाइफ इन अ बेटर वे सो दिस फॉर दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई मीन दिस इज स्प्रेड अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इन अराउंड वन फोर्टी कंट्रीज हैविंग मोर देन नाइन थाउजेंड सेंटर्स and this rajyoga meditation course is provided free of cost in all the centers so you can go to any of the centers and if you have not taken the course you can go and take it that will help you so uh, the international headquarters is situated in mount abu rajasthan and and that is the international because we have the centers all over the world and shanti sarovar is one of the biggest retreat centers in india so we are actually fortunate that we have this place we can conduct a lot of sessions here right and there are a lot of uh, you know sessions we organize here for different age groups or different groups of people for example uh, the sunday evening talk is one of them and uh, we have bala vrindavanam for kids of the age group 9 to 14 and we also conduct uh, many on demand programs for corporates institutes hotels banks and etc for for many other different people so for this today sunday evening talk what's the topic oh <laughs> you are okay so so i would like to ask you what is anger anyone sorry lack of peace yes that's Asking correct to a situation instead of responding okay yes that's correct anyone else not having control on emotions okay so that leads to anger yes sort of expression right that's correct so anger is actually an emotion right this is one of the emotions but this is the result of some other kind of feelings for example you are dissatisfied with something the feeling of dissatisfaction fear jealousy or ego right this results into anger uh some of may say that we don't get angry right but at least at some point of time we experience some of these feelings isn't it okay so without taking much time i would like to welcome brother girish for today's talk with a round of applause many of you might already know him because he has taken a lot of sunday evening talks earlier so how many of you know him already i think that's why because <laughs> that is why you came today isn't it okay that that's a good gesture i'm so happy because of rang okay so uh, i will still give a brief introduction of girish bhai 
So, uh, Brother Girish is a competent management professional and trainer with over 25 years of experience in providing behavioral training programs for corporate houses, educational and social institutes. He has conducted a lot of trainings at various organizations like ISRO, Indian Army, IIT, Madras, Rurki, Patna, JNU, many corporates, com co corporate companies, banks, hospitals, and educational institutes. And he is actually known for his unique style of delivering the lectures. And you will definitely like it, enjoy it during the session. And, uh, and also, he is associated with Brahma Kumaris for more than 25 years. And he is practicing Raj Yoga meditation on a regular basis every day. So we are so fortunate for, uh, you know, that he is here with us today. And uh, we will take this opportunity to listen to him on today's topic. And I hope you uh, get benefited by this session, by this time you have taken out for today's topic. And okay, so without taking much time, I'll hand over to Brother Girish. Thank you, everyone. Om Shanti. I want you to repeat this word with a lot of love. Say it with, yeah, say it with a little smile on your faces. Say it with a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Very good. Namaste. And good evening. Is your evening good? Yes. Wonderful. <clears throat> Um, it's so wonderful and good to see that today people even have time for these kind of, uh, I may not say a talk, but a deliberation wherein uh, we very consciously think that uh, these kind of discussion or meeting uh, benefits the individual's growth and I become better than what I was you know yesterday so thank you so much for taking time out of your busy life uh, in mumbai on a hilarious note when we ask people please do take time to meditate or at least come and learn what meditation is all about so in hindi in mumbai people say marne ki fursat nahi hai <laughs> Gee, i don't even have time to die forget about meditation so the kind of person I am, you know, jokingly I respond, वो कहते हैं मरने की फुर्सत नहीं है तो मैं उनको कहता हूँ इच्छा जाहिर करिए प्रबंध मैं कर देता हूँ मतलब आपको अगर इतना ही प्रॉब्लम है तो I'll make all the necessary arrangements for you to die and don't worry the god of death is knocking at your door and say come tomorrow भैया सांस लेने की फुर्सत नहीं है ना that speaks maybe the ego that I have about life that I don't even understand the very next moment I may not be there on this planet Earth. So once again, welcoming you on behalf of the Brahma Kumaris for this wonderful Sunday evening talk. Uh, I want you to um, little churn and contemplate of the kind of inputs that I'm going to share. I don't want you to completely believe uh, what I'm saying. <laughs> But think about it and uh, see whether logically, rationally and scientifically because when we are in a spiritual gathering at times, spirituality and science do not go together. Um, what my logical mind says may not match with the spiritual doctrine of any organization or maybe uh, you know, any religion for that matter. So my first question is, anger is healthy or unhealthy? Anger is good or bad? Fantastic. I'll make it more complicated. Anger is good, sometimes okay, bad. Oh, you are smart enough. <laughs> Extremist, many option the other good or bad, to 100% bad. The moment I give you an opportunity or an option that sometimes chalta hai. Then from bad to sometimes chalta is a better option. Then I say, no, no, that is okay. Hai? So then I have a question for you. 
on one hand you said no no it is completely bad because you had only two option but given an opportunity or a probability that i have an option sometimes good so we all say okay fine that is fine that 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 option makes a lot of sense so my question is why sometimes anger is okay or it is completely bad given a choice of sometimes okay good chalo chhod dete hain wo humko bhi pata hai sometimes okay and bad mein we generally tend to tick sometimes okay why why is it sometimes okay why from bad i am tending to move towards okay ek aad bar to chalta hai samne wale ko dikhane ke liye batane ke liye to prove the other person wrong or to make the other person right yeah and that's where i think very critically and very minutely and in a subtle way i need to understand you know sometimes anger is also not okay it is primarily my own excuse or justification for something which i'm not able to practice so my weaknesses and my shortcomings i'm trying to justify ki sometimes chalta hai i'll ask you a question <clears throat> medically physically from the body's perspective forget about emotion forget about relationship the impact it will have on the other person forget about behavioral behaviorally whether it is good or bad any person who gets angry for any justified reason yeah at that moment does his body chemistry remains okay or gets disturbed Sexual disturbed so then i have a question is anger sometimes okay at the physical level no but then i don't actually care for the impact the negative impact anger would do on my body but i succumb to the temptation of justifying or maybe telling the other person that you are wrong by getting angry so can we have some other options other than getting angry to get my work done हाँ तो हाँ नेगोशिएशंस राइट तो हम उस लेवल पर उस ऑप्शंस के बारे में नहीं सोच रहे हैं वाई बिकॉज समटाइम्स एंगर इज ओके अब समटाइम्स ओके है तो फिर तो क्यों मैं इतना दिमाग खराब करूँ लुक एट क्रिएटिव वे ऑल्टरनेटिव नेगोशिएशन ब्ला 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 वाई यू नो टेक यू नो डू सो मच ऑफ एफर्ट वेन समटाइम्स एंगर इज ओके so anger is at the physical level not very healthy and a lot of research being done although there is no no direct correlation between anger and cancer but anger means you are increasing your stress levels you are suppressing your immunity and if that is there for a prolonged duration of time the risk factors for cancer increases and in today's times cancer is becoming as common as a common cold i mean for no reason i recently i was in delhi i was doing a program i met one lady um, very lean and thin she was practicing naturopathy and very health conscious may be more health conscious than girish bhai but then she says i was diagnosed with cancer so then just trying to understand few things looking back at how her behavior was and she said one reason could be although there is no scientific evidences to correlate both of them but yes there is a very strong uh, you know thought behind it that if i have anger the chances of physically me myself getting disturbed is very high so my second question aapko gussa aata hai ya koi gussa dilata hai 
छोटू जब मैं बच्चों से पूछता हूँ तो सीधे मम्मी को देखता आप बताओ सो जनरली वी हैव एन अंडरस्टैंड आई तो डोंट गेट एंग्री ओनली यू मेक मी एंग्री मे बी यू योर बिहेवियर योर एक्शन योर कॉन्डक्ट वॉट एवर इट इज या सो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू गेट एंग्री रेज योर हैंड आप लोग बहुत अच्छे हैं जी ठीक है ना कितने मुस्कुरा के बोल रहे हैं आता है आप बहुत पॉजिटिव ऑडियंस है सेकेंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू थिंक दैट आई डोंट गेट एंग्री अदर्स मेक मी एंग्री रेज योर हैंड वेरी गुड एंड बिफोर दिस जेस्चर आई मीन आई सॉ आई हैव फोर आईज टू द नेचुरल वन टू गिफ्टेड बाई माई डॉक्टर सो वेन आई सेड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू थिंक Others make you feel angry. So before the wife raises and <laughs> you know, so bichara husband bolta sun raha hu na, but batane ki kya zarurat hai? ठीक है ना? Why are you reinforcing that particular statement? ठीक है? अच्छा. So I'll come to the second point first. Others make you angry. Suppose at the end of this session, before you leave, I said, I say. that before you leave please please come here and i'll give you a gift and that gift could be a very simple pen theek hai theek main aap ek ek karke aaiyega aap yahan se ek pen lekar jaiyega theek hai maan lijiye in this wonderful audience there is one person who feels ki mujhe pen nahi chahiye i don't need it aur mujhe pata chal gaya hai ki unko nahi chahiye theek hai so what i do is I step out of the stage, go to that person and hands over the pen to him. तो वो कहता है सर मुझे नहीं चाहिए घर में बहुत सारा पेन है उल्टा चाहिए तो मैं आपको दो चार दे देता हूँ मैंने कहा इट्स नॉट अबाउट द पेन इट्स अबाउट द जेस्चर बोल आई आई अंडरस्टैंड योर जेस्चर आई मीन दैट नीड नॉट बी ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू अ मेटीरियलिस्टिक थिंग और दे भी रहे हो तो वो पाँच रुपए का पेन है <laughs> थे ना होता तो पार्कर पहने तो फिर भी हम सोच सकते थे पाँच सौ रुपये का आई मीन ही डिड नॉट से दैट ठीक है तो वो कहते हैं सर कैन आई रिक्वेस्ट आई सेट गो एड ही सेट ये पेन जिसको ज़रूरत है मे बी कोई स्कूल है जहाँ बच्चे के पास पेन नहीं है आई मीन यू कैन यू नो आई थिंक दैट वुड बी मोर मीनिंगफुल दैन गिविंग इट टू अस मैं कहता हूँ नहीं और मैं जबरदस्ती उनके जेब में वो पेन रख देता हूँ एंड आई एम से इट इज माय लव माय रिस्पेक्ट फॉर यू नाउ यू नो व्हाट ही डज ही टेक्स द पेन बट बिफोर लीविंग ही रॉयली कम्स यर और पेन यहाँ रख करके चले जाते एंड बहुत प्यार से मुझे कहते हैं सर थैंक यू सो मच आई रियली एंजॉयड योर टॉक बट आई डोंट नीड दिस कैन गिरीश भाई फोर्स द पर्सन टू टेक द पेन if the person has decided i don't need it because it is of no use to me it is a waste yeah can i force no hindi mein bol bol okay <clears throat> how many of you cannot understand hindi at all oh great you don't watch hindi movies वो सब समझ में आ जाता है एंगर मैनेजमेंट आई कॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड इन हिंदी बट आई रिस्ट्रिक्ट माई सेल्फ टू मोर ऑफ इंग्लिश ठीक है ओके सो इफ सम वन हैज डिसाइडेड नॉट टू टेक एनी थिंग नो बडी कैन फोर्स द पर्सन टू टेक दैट थिंग करेक्ट या सो माई सेकेंड क्वेश्चन वेन वॉट आई आस्ट यू how many of you do get angry that is part 1 second is others make you anger aap me se kitne logon ko dusre gussa dilate hain when i gave you the pen you refused so when others are making you get angry refuse it pen ko refuse karna pretty easy because it's of no use Why can't I refuse anger? 
yes i understand your actions your behavior i am not liking it don't take it if the pen it's pretty easy to refuse it not to accept it so the understanding is if i have decided not to nobody can make me angry and that's where spirituality comes into picture wherein i have the clarity number 1 number 2 i have the necessary strength inner strength and power not to get agitated so if you look at anger per se the psychology behind anger by and large you know we get angry because others are not doing things as per my expectation and it can also relate to myself also when things doesn't happen my way for myself or for others that's the time when i'm agitated yeah so i'll give you an analogy what you know godfather shiv tells us so i'll give you the you know the understanding of what god made us understand okay so i'll create an analogy for you it's like there is a beautiful saying and for anger it is said getting angry is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die <laughs> so it is poison it is actually very harmful for the self but wanting the other person to understand or maybe do things as per my wish i mean that's that's a state of you know ignorance that i'm not understanding that this emotion is not very healthy okay so if i ask you a question what is darkness absence of light okay if i give you a situation a challenge you are not supposed to use the word or the idea of light prakash ujala any synonymous word equivalent to light don't use it that's the condition now define darkness well don't use the word light or any other similar words light ujala prakash roshni in any language don't use it now tell me what's the definition of darkness yeah i cannot see anything means not necessarily there is darkness darkness means even when your eyes are wide open you cannot see anything that tant amounts to blindness i am blind i can't see that doesn't mean it's dark out here darkness means even though you may have eyes a full blown 6 by 6 eyesight vision still you can't see anything that is darkness usko hum andhkar kehte hain so please paribhashit kariye define darkness without the use of the word light yeah <coughs> so this brother goes to his room it's completely dark he runs back to his mamma and says mom mere kamre mein koi gyan nahi hai i understand brother philosophically you're right but in a practical way define darkness please take care of the remaining little which is left over i am asking you a simple question please don't relate to it knowledgefully darkness agyanta define darkness without as simple as he said where there is lack of light absence of light thank you similarly define darkness but don't use the word light i understand at the knowledge part of it lack of knowledge but i'm not interested in that answer simple definition darkness so suppose i switch off all the lights here ek minute if i switch off all the lights here would you say this room has lack of knowledge aap daudoge bologe bhai light nahi hai wahan par darkness hai theek hai na bolo beta 
ब्लैक इन कलर ऑल पीपल वेयरिंग ब्लैक यू आर डार्क ठीक है थैंक गॉड आई एम नॉट वेयरिंग ब्लैक सी वॉट इज सी यू हैव आईज बट नो विजन दैट इज ऑल्सो सम फॉर्म ऑफ लाइट लाइट सींग विजन I want you to think and tell me what is the definition of darkness without the usage of word light. बोल दिया उन्होंने. Somebody said I can't see anything. अरे नहीं चाहिए मुझे वो वाला आंसर. Just give me a simple one. You know, I mean, I understand your, you know, complexity, and that's what I'm trying to make you feel. You cannot, and that's what the reality is. One cannot define <coughs> darkness simply without the usage of the word light. It's impossible. So the dependency of light to even define darkness is so heavy. is so must without the word light you cannot define darkness so what i'm trying to tell you is there does not exist anything called as darkness it doesn't exist it is just merely the absence of light jahan prakash nahi hai usko dark kaha jata hai बिना प्रकाश के डार्कनेस को बताना भी कितना कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लग रहा है इन सिंपल टर्म्स या सो से फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव स्विच ऑन ऑल द लाइट्स ठीक है गिरीश हैज कंप्लीट कंट्रोल ओवर द स्विचेस गिरीश हैज कंप्लीट कंट्रोल ओवर द वायर्स गिरीश हैज कंप्लीट कंट्रोल ओवर द मेन स्विच यू just cannot do anything suppose i have complete control theek hai now i challenge you please create darkness in this hall aap light band nahi kar sakte kyunki maine on karke rakha i have switched it on you cannot cut the wires let us assume if you go extreme no you cannot because that's under my control you cannot go and unplug the fuse that's under my control means you cannot work on light let us assume it's in my control and i've switched it on now i have a challenge for you please create darkness in this hall <laughs> yeah you such a difficult audience <laughs> you are again and again and again going to pluck my hair which is so 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 precious for me theek <laughs> hai <laughs> अरे भाई जो बचा कुछ है उसका तो ध्यान दो भर भर ब्राइंडनेस फिर यू यू हैव क्लोज योर आईज और आई एम बॉर्न डिफेक्ट आई कॉन्ट हैव आईज हाई डजेंट मीन दिस रूम इज डार्क इवन इफ ईच वन ऑफ अस शट्स आर आईज बट देर इज लाइट डजेंट मीन इट इज डार्क बिकॉज प्राइमरली द डेफिनेशन से इज द एबसेंस ऑफ लाइट एंड देर इज लाइट एंड द चैलेंज इज क्रिएट डार्कनेस इट इज इम्पॉसिबल बिकॉज the definition says where there is light there is no darkness it is just the absence correct so you go back home open the latch of the door the front door and suppose all the lights are off you don't take a sword and start cutting darkness to create light i don't wear boxing gloves and try to push darkness out you can't take a broom and sweep darkness out of the room why am i telling you all these thing because to remove darkness you don't work on darkness well that's a very wrong approach all you need to do is to take out your mobile phone switch on the torch or maybe light a candle light a match switch on the light to expel darkness you have to work on fantastic to remove darkness you will have to work on light डार्कनेस पे काम करके डार्कनेस को हटाया नहीं जा सकता है बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग कॉल्ड एज डार्कनेस ऑन प्लान अर्थ इट इज जस्ट मियोरली दी एबसेंस ऑफ 
light. You create light, you manufacture light, you produce light, depending upon the intensity of the illumination of the light, proportionally, utna darkness will disappear. I switch on only one light, maybe the other part of the room will be a little dark. I switch on all the lights, maybe there wouldn't be any darkness. Correct? Understand that? Okay. So in one of my sessions in Nasik, as a Kumbh Mela program, it's an outside program, a, the river flowing, a huge stage, lakhs of devotees come to that place to dip during those particular days. So we were asked to do these kind of sessions and it was not an interactive session. You sit, you start speaking, speaking, speaking. People are listening, eating, crying, talking, and you also speak. Jaise pravachan hota hai, theek hai? Generally, I don't like that particular kind of session. But kya kare? I was asked to go there. So it was at 10 o'clock at night. Entire night hi pravachan chalta hai. So the moment I stepped onto the stage, the huge stage and huge audience, you know, thousands of people, a lot of camera, light. So there were a lot of, you know, these flies who attract attracted by this light. The whole stage was full of those kida. And the moment I stepped onto the stage, those little, little fly, they got into my ear, into my shirt. I was not very comfortable, to be very honest. So I looked at the person who was the light and sound wala guy. I said, Bhaiya, stage par andhkar badhao. Please increase more darkness on the stage. Now I have a question. What he might have done? Fantastic. To create darkness also, you will have to work on light. To remove darkness also, you will have to work on light. Because light is something you can work upon. Darkness is just the absence of it. It is not independent. It doesn't exist on its own. You are understanding what I am trying to say? Now, apply the same analogy with respect to anger. So what God says you're in Brahma Kumaris, making us free from anger. And he says, there doesn't exist anything called as anger. <clears throat> it is just merely the absence of peace. When you are not in a state of peace, peace is light. The moment I create the light of peace, I manufacture consciously peace, I create that experience of being peaceful at any given point of time, irrespective of whatever the situation or circumstances or people or what they do, they behave, not behave the way I want, where there is light, what will, kya nahi rahega? darkness where there is peace no anger so basically when we speak about anger people come to me and they say sir mujhe bahut gussa aata hai i have i am a personality full of anger i at times doesn't know when this anger comes out so i said so what then wo mujhse kehte hain hindi mein kehte hain sir मुझे बहुत गुस्सा आता है गुस्से को खत्म करने के लिए क्या करूं प्लीज टेल मी सम मैकेनिज्म टू ओवरकम एंगर तो आई टेल हिम यू प्लीज टेक अ स्वॉर्ड गो टू योर हाउस एंड कट डार्कनेस आउट देन आई टेल यू हाउ टू कट एंगर आउट व्हाट्स द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग you cannot work on darkness to remove darkness. That's where we keep struggling. I want to control anger. Please control darkness without applying your mind on light. You cannot. If you are saying control darkness, actually you are working on light. Depending upon how much switches you switch on or switch off will have an impact on darkness. Am I making sense? So please don't use the word anger, 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 anger. Mujhe bahut gussa aata hai. 
टेल आई एम पीसलेस आ तब समझ में आएगा देन यू विल अप्रोच मी सर टेल मी व्हाट शुड आई डू टू बिकम मोर पीसफुल ओ दैट मेक्स लॉट ऑफ सेंस आई होप यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से यू कैन वर्क ऑन पीस यू कैन वर्क ऑन लाइट डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ यू वर्क ऑन लाइट द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस विल बी डार्कनेस या सो लेट्स डू वन थिंग ठीक है वन एक्सरसाइज कीप योर फिंगर्स लाइक दिस ओके यू हैव टू मेक अ साउंड ठीक है आई एल डेमोन्स्ट्रेट इट फॉर यू यू हैव टू यूज योर टंग टच द अपर पैलेट लिल फोर्सफुली एंड पुट इट डाउन एक बार ये तो ऐसे कर रहे थे तो घोड़ा गाड़ी चला रहे आप लोग बचपन आपने तो बताया नहीं ना वन बार अभी तो प्रैक्टिस कर रहे थे ठीक है ओके वन ठीक है सो यू हैव टू कीप योर फिंगर्स लाइक दिस मेक दैट साउंड वंस वाह वेरी गुड यू आर एक्सपर्ट ठीक है बट ये दोनों का जो कॉम्बिनेशन है टेल यू हाउ टू डू इट सो वेन यू कीप योर फिंगर्स लाइक दिस एंड ब्रिंग इट एंड टच इट इन द सेंटर ऑफ द फोर हेड द मोमेंट यू टच इट यू हैव टू मेक दैट साउंड ओके आई शो इट टू यू so i'm keeping it like this the moment i bring this finger in the center of the forehead and it touches i'll make the sound theek hai chalo mu band rakhi oh man theek <laughs> oh, that's okay you should understand how difficult it is for a person looking at different facial expression and still maintain my calmness <laughs> and composure <laughs> Oh, but you are a very lovely audience. You should be like this. आप किसी भी पोजिशन में किसी भी फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन में ले वो तुम्हारा काम है हैंडल करने का आई विल बी नेचुरल द वे दिस छोटू इज डेट एम पुटिंग हिज सिंगर इन टू द लेफ्ट नॉस्टल फर्स्ट एंड क्लीनिंग इट कम्प्लीटली तुम्हारा प्रॉब्लम है जी तुम हैंडल करो आई एम नेचुरल द वे आई एम Please don't worry about what the world thinks about you. You be very natural. The more you think about what others are thinking about you, your state of peace, the light fades down, because you're more worried and thinking about the other person. Okay, ready? Okay, keep your fingers like this. <clears throat> One, two, three. May touch it and make the sound. Okay. One, two, three. Wow, very good. And knee check. Okay. Is समझ में आया क्या करना? what is the you know spiritual understanding of this exercise i'll tell you okay <clears throat> when i'm saying i am peaceful it means where is this peace located gps of peace your peace is in your kidney no kya yeah, confidence the peace is sitting next to you the husband bilkul nahi theek hai that's what the expression is theek hai so peace within me is 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 a part of the soul and the mind intellect and sanskar if the mind is peaceful if the intellect is peaceful and my sanskars or my personality is peace that means i am peaceful that's what girish is is not your heart your kidney your liver the nose I mean, this is the hardware software is peace theek hai so when i say i am peaceful that means my soul is in a state of peace mind creates peaceful thought it takes peaceful decision and my actions of my words and my conduct is also very peaceful theek hai so i'll give you a scenario <clears throat> so you go back home and you see the room is dark what will you do okay so suppose there is a switch and you have to switch it on how would you do it take your fingers like this and switch it on and make the sound fantastic same sound theek <laughs> hai the moment you switch on that light not only the one switch jitna bhi switch hai sab on kar diya kya nahi rahega dark destiny okay okay so you understand okay actually the soul is by default very peaceful that's its original nature 
anger is an acquired behavior that's not innate generally people have a misunderstanding that anger is a natural emotion god says no and that's where you have to choose either of the two depending upon the benefit you derive out of it so say for example you go to a doctor with certain challenges and suppose one of the reasons of the challenges you are facing is because of anger the doctor will say please don't get angry but on the contrary they will say it is a natural emotion and that's where the the contradiction lies god is very clear at times he operates on a level of absoluteness and generally when we tend to operate of operate our life based on this word depends that's where the problem comes we have ramesh sir dronacharya wadi recently completed and came back from paris pa- olympics and won so much of laurels for the country sir your students have to win a particular tournament will it depend more on the external circumstances or will it depend on the individual more individual, individual more yeah so if i say it depends your child comes home and says mamma my exam is over mamma says how much marks you will get depends lagaoge to thappad what idiot depend tu bata na kya likha mereko kya pata to teacher pe depend kar so anger also depends if someone is good to me then no anger if they are not good to me then i'll get angry then your anger or your emotion of peace depends on an external person or a situation then what's the focus or the loki of standing of your existence to fir you control me remotely whenever you want i'll get angry when you don't want i will not get angry when you are controlling me my control of my emotion should be my prerogative or my choice or it depends on someone else my life success or the marks he is scoring will depend on the question paper depend on the way the teacher is correcting depending upon the way it was being taught or i understand they can have an you know influence over the result but majority of it depends on myself how you are responding to the scenario the circumstances the situation so if the teacher is not teaching properly means the teacher is not teaching equally to all 60 students yes or no but then one student scores very good marks wo thodi na baith ke ro raha hai ki teacher ne nahi padhaya teacher ne nahi padhaya wo to 60 bachcho ko fir nahi padhaya unhone yeah so it doesn't depend friends so then we 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 come to beautiful clarity oh, this is not okay and i'm not interested in you know not interested in experiencing anger and operating my light, life out of anger theek okay? hai so we go with the scenario so we go back home we knock at the door open the door only to find my son was got his exams few days later must royally watching ipl so mummy after having attended the sunday evening talk lot of peace lot of love happiness she goes <laughs> beta please switch off the tv and study post examination i'll keep two tvs in your room the right eye you was the right one the left you was the left one but right now stop it and study now i have a question when you as parents or anybody as elders when i go and speak with a lot of love with a lot of grace with a lot of humility with a lot of patience aapke bare mein nahi keh raha you have a lot of patience theek hai na you go and address it baby please switch off the tv and study post examination you watch how much you ever want to say does it do the children listen to us i can understand the pain <laughs> when he said no taken <laughs> oh, that's interesting that no had so much of pain theek hai na then so you go back home in the evening or so you are at home in the evening the sun is setting light of the sun is disappearing what is setting darkness is setting and you don't take a sword and cut darkness what would you do with the sound 
you don't break your head against the darkness, correct? That's how it is. Sun, the movement of the sun, earth, you are, that's not in my control. I am acclimatizing and adjusting myself as per nature, correct? Now the chotu is not listening to you, your husband is not listening to you, your mother-in-law is not listening to you, my bahu is not listening to me, and daughter-in-law is equally you know, at war with them. It's like the Ukraine and Russia war, never ending. I don't see any light when it's going. Why are you laughing, chotu? <laughs> he, wo pata, how is he laughing? <laughs> As if he understands everything, <laughs> too good. I say hasna, don't worry. And now the little one, or any other person for that matter, they are not doing as per my wish. Okay? Please understand. Now, mummy ka bhi surya ast ho raha hai. La Sir, knowledge lost. Sir, blankness. <laughs> Agyanta. Absolutely, you're right. You know, but that is within. What I was asking is darkness at the physical level. I understand you are two steps ahead of me. I'm speaking about the physical plane. He's speaking about andhkar, knowledge. <laughs> That's so good. I have to make so much of, you know, concord so much of story to bring you within. He to said it, you know, 15 minutes before only. So there is darkness setting, BP rising, andhkar chha raha hai, Andhkar is equal to anger. Okay? Now I have a question. I said it so peacefully, so gracefully, and the other person is not listening. Ab my peace is setting, my love, my temperament, my coolness, calmness is all getting down. I am getting heated up. Right? Us vakt aapko pata kya karna hai? There is a light within. There is a light outside, no light is darkness outside, no light within, the light of knowledge, the light of peace, the light of love. Then that is switched off, where there is no light is equal to darkness, where there is no peace, it is anger, where there is no love, it is hatred. There is nothing called as hatred on planet Earth. It is just merely the absence of love. There is nothing called as anger on planet. It doesn't exist. It is just merely the absence of a good emotion called as peace. There is nothing called as fear on planet Earth. It is just merely the absence of courage. There is nothing called, uh, called as sorrow. It is just merely the absence of joy. And what I love and appreciate you know, very logically and sensibly about this beautiful organization is God only highlights what you should do to enhance love, peace, happiness, courage. Aap agar mujhse poochte ho, Girish, kya karun gusse ko dur karne ke liye? I have no answers. You ask me, what should I do to increase my levels of patience and peace and love? I'll give you 100 hours lecture. You know, that's what God says because he understands the, 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 the psyche of what's operating within. And it's not a human created psychology. Psychology is created by human beings. Good, they to try to understand how the mind works. God is the creator. Yeah. So when I switch on, I am coming into a state of awareness that I am a peaceful soul. And why anger? If I go into a little bit of the understanding, yeah, it's a test paper for you. Listen to the ringtone and enjoy. So this, you need not do it. This means, <coughs> I'll give you a scenario. I'll take an, on another two minutes, friends. So daddy comes home late from office, dead tired completely oozed out only little iota of energy left for the dad is to freshen up have food and hit the bed the moment he knocks at the door the little one baby very cute fifth standard uh, five years old boy maybe first standard or 
अपर के जी सो ही ओपन द डोर ब्राइट आईज फुल ऑफ एनर्जी एट रात को दस बजे द मोमेंट ही सीज डैट डैड इज ऑलमोस्ट डेड एंड ही से जैसे ही डैडी फाइन ही से डैड मेरे साथ खेलो लेट्स प्ले एंड द फादर फील्स ओ गॉड अब बस इतना ही बचा था दिस इज वॉट वॉज लेफ्ट द ओल्ड डे नाउ ही वॉन्ट मी टू प्ले सो डैडी वेरी पीसफुली एंड लविंगली से बेबी यू प्ले विथ मॉम So the chotu says i don't like to play with her the way you don't like you know why he doesn't love, like to play with mom because mom starts playing but two minutes uh, you play i'll come because she has to complete the daily chores also so he doesn't feel mama continues to play with him takes on taking breaks so he doesn't love it so he says i don't want to play with mama papa chotu ko dekh kar ke you know unka स्ट्रेस लेवल्स का हो उसका थकान वैसे ही दूर हो जाता है लिटिल वन इज सो क्यूट डन चल आई मीन आई एम लिविंग फॉर यू ओनली ओके डन वॉट डू यू वॉन्ट टू प्ले एंड द छोटू रिप्लाइज आई वॉन्ट टू प्ले चोर पुलिस पुलिस एंड थीफ द कॉप एंड थीफ टेन ओ क्लॉक एट द फैग एंड ऑफ द डे ही वॉन्ट्स टू प्ले पुलिस एंड यू नो थीफ या पापा से इज डन the moment papa agrees to it the little one goes to his room wears that costume of a police because daddy has bought him for a fancy dress competition he wears the cap the stick the gun toy gun the whistle and the game starts but before that in this game of a thief and the police who will become the thief daddy kamal ji ये मम्मी लोग की भी इच्छाएं बाहर आ रही हैं ठीक है शी इज सेइंग द डैडी करेक्ट ओके व्हाई द लिटिल वन डजेंट वांट टू बिकम द थीव बिकॉज टिल द टाइम व्हाट ही हैज अंडरस्टूड इज पोलिस इज पावरफुल ग्लोरीफाइड इन सिनेमाज पोलिस ऑलवेज विंस सो ही ऑलवेज वांट्स टू बी अ पोलिस सो ही वेयर्स द ड्रेस एंड द गेम स्टार्ट द मोमेंट ही वेयर्स दैट पर्टिकुलर ड्रेस छोटू ट्रांसफॉर्म्स हिज आईज बिकम्स वाइड ओपन his chest bulges up you know his body language changes and he says hey i mean the game starts <laughs> and he is telling it to the daddy slash the thief yahan nahi baithne ka aur sach batao be very honest and tell me truthfully who stole that particular thing daddy sorry the thief no 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 police uncle i did not do anything <laughs> the thief is trying to play the role of a thief a full frightened trying to justify that he has not done anything wrong the more the daddy gets frightened what happens to the police he becomes more powerful and that's what the game is let us assume the little one is trying to extract the truth and trying to frighten that particular thief and daddy sorry the thief doesn't get frightened usko ghabrahat nahi ho rahi hai wo dar nahi raha hai so you know what the chotu will say i don't want to play with you are yaar main dara raha hu aur tum dar hi nahi rahe ho मजा तो मुझे तब आएगा जब आप डरोगे दैट्स द होल गेम अबाउट सो डैडी एक्टिंग ओनली विल बिकम मोर फ्राइट एंड विल हैव मोर फियर एंड द गेम कंटिन्यूज यस एंड द लिटिल वन इज सो इनग्रॉज इन दैट गेम बिकॉज ही इज एंजॉइंग इट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग आउट द ट्रूथ बाय मिस्टेक यू नो द लिटिल वन हिट्स द डैडी नॉट इंटेंशनल एक्सीडेंटल एंड ही द डैडी गेट्स अ बिग टाइट स्लैप thought that's a painful how many of you have got that kind of slaps from your little one most of us right yeah so it was just a playful hitting but it was a real one i have a question for you how many daddies on planet earth will get angry let me tell you we don't have time by and large daddies will not get angry there are few reasons for it reason number one is just a game god tells us now this concept of drama it's a game that's a tool to switch on the light until and unless i have that understanding of the awareness that it's just a game it's just few years that i am with you in a relationship but the journey of the soul there is a past history there is a future for the soul 
and the soul is carrying certain impressions, that's the sanskar. So once I become a little spiritual in understanding the whole game play, Shakespeare has said, the world is a huge stage and we are all mere actors playing our role. The moment you consider yourself as an actor, anger, I mean that's the tool, when you switch on the light, there's complete understanding. Asatoma sadgamaya. I understand why somebody is behaving like this. And I choose to create light. Absence of light will agitate you, will frustrate you, will irritate you, and will come out in the form of an anger. Second understanding. This is what psychology says. Daddy did not get angry because daddy never, even for a fraction of a second, not even for an iota of a moment, considered himself in the entire game that I am a thief. Back in his mind, he was completely aware I am dad and he is my son. Where anger comes is the little one not listening to you and you are switching your role from a peaceful soul to a mother. Sorry, you are not a mother. You are just playing the role of a mother. Let us assume I have a child five years old and that's my first child. Ten years back, you were not a mother. Yeah. Ten years before, maybe I was a single girl or maybe a daughter. I was not a mother. So your roles are changing. Tomorrow my child has a child, then I become a grandmother or a grandfather. Shah Rukh Khan plays the role of a police inspector in movie A. He plays XYZ role in movie B. But originally Shah Rukh Khan is Shah Rukh Khan is Shah Rukh Khan. That's his core personality. Who are you? And the moment I come to that awareness, anger ka ek major reason is the role. Husband, you wife, mother-in-law. Bachpan se hi mother-in-law the kya? Maa ke garb se nikalte saath. Because the truth is an always concept. It's not a sometimes concept. So I'm a bachelor right now. Tomorrow I become a husband. Third day I'll become a papa. Fourth day I'll become a grandfather. Who are you? You are changing roles. I'm a GTE, graduate trainee engineer in Infosys. Uh, sorry, LNT. Then I become maybe a supervisor. Maybe then I'll become an engineer, a senior engineer. Then a plant head. Then I can become a CEO. You are changing positions. But who are you? Please don't identify with your tag. Daddy is a tag. Grandfather is a tag, husband is a tag, you are coming into that role. Are you the husband of the whole world? Truth is an always concept and it is one for the whole world. You are not daddy for the whole world. I am a soul for the whole world. Your SIM card is universally one size. You take any mobile handsets across the whole of the world. The micro SIM card will have the same slot, yes or no? It is not different. But I'm Hindu, you're Muslim, he's Christian, I'm black, he's female, male, Indian, rich, poor, knowledgeable, non-knowledgeable. These are the different handsets. But the soul, the SIM card is the same. It functions on the same technology. Yes or no? So each one of us is a very peaceful personality. Each one of us is endowed with a lot of positive spiritual qualities. The moment I am, I am a peaceful soul playing the role of a good mama, then you're not getting impacted by the other's behavior. Your light is switched on. If you switch on the light, there will not be any darkness. Hoi nahi sakta. There is no possibility. We discuss so much on it. Problem ye hai ki ye ek second ka awareness. Who am I? We are so caught up in the identity of the body the identities of the role, the identities of the qualification, the identity of the religion, the identity of the nationality. There's nothing wrong about it. Please operate on that. That's not what you are. That will keep changing. What remains permanent, eternal, absolute, intrinsic is what I am. And if can, I can sit and spend some moments in that state of who I am, then Girish, the speaker, Girish, the daddy wala role will not overcome the peaceful personality, the Girish who is. Peace will embrace Girish, the daddy. Then in my conduct, in the way I handle people, 
others will say my child will say papa is a very peaceful personality i've never seen him getting agitated even if i make huge mistakes then papa girish is a peaceful papa peaceful husband peaceful manager creative manager successful man whatever the roles you have and the moment my role has those values the innate values you will succeed because if i'm not agitated your performance will increase if i'm not angry performance will increase your physical health will become better so the essence of today's session is i have to go back to my roots my originality of who i am and be in that state of love peace happiness purity power knowledge and then with that stage do your homework with peace cook your food with peace make the other person understand that what you're doing is wrong with peace inculcate good values to those little ones who have come here with peace with love kyunki i have a bad habit of telling my little one pyar se bolo na so it is just word pyar se bolo but mamma is actually getting angry <laughs> so the little one with 500 gb hard disk empty he gets confused and he is seeing everywhere that so he says tomorrow he goes to his school and he has a fight with his friend pyar se bolna tu but pyar se bolna hai shabd hi le liya hai but emotion pe to mummy ne sikhaya hai jo karna hai i have seen and experienced the last 29 years in my being with the brahma kumaris i've never seen god getting angry can i be like god theek hai yeah so keep your fingers like this i'll take one more minute keep it at the end of your lips very good yeah push it up very good keep your fingers down yeah look at each other yeah in case you find the other person not smiling please cooperate and give your two little fingers to the other person <laughs> and help him out aaj ye hal hai theek hai god wants us to be happy always and it is possible he wants us to be free from anger from fear from negativity and it is 100% possible he gives us the option and the option is the wrong identities maybe you can practice and see with this identity is it possible to remain at that level of experience and believe me friends it's so powerful it's so profound that you will not try to tend to come to a state of anger because it's so enriching it's so fulfilling for yourself and the moment you interact the other person with that love and you see the other person you know loving you back oh that is the ultimate experience come what may i will just not get angry at least with my family members start from there and let me tell you hum sara gussa apno pe nikalte hain ऑफिस का गुस्सा भी वाइफ पे एंड द वाइफ वंडर्स यार व्हाट डिड आई डू एंड देन आई से नो नो इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ लव अचार डालो ऐसा लव का तुम स्विच ऑफ कर रहे हो इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ यू नो पीपल से आई लव यू सो मच दैट इज व्हाई आई गेट एंग्री एट यू तो फिर वाइफ पता क्या कि यू बेटर लव समबडी एल्स are i am not interested in that love wherein i am not experiencing respect regard these are all filmy dialogues friend this is not how it operates theek hai one minute of silence okay i hope you were able to understand what i was trying to communicate yeah yeah thank you so much one minute of silence just sit back i'll just give you some basic commentary and maybe this you can practice or you can come here and learn the technique of meditation just visualize take a deep breath in and release bring your attention onto your breathing take your attention from all the external things and bring your attention to the center of your forehead the place where we switched on our inner light and that's where the soul 
resides and it is like a sparkling star experience i am a peaceful personality peace is my nature and peace comes to me very easily all i need to do is one second switch on my awareness shift my focus from the consciousness of the role to the consciousness of the soul and being in the state of soul consciousness i conduct my 24 hours of my responsibility my interactions my activities of the whole day by being in a state of peace love and happiness thank you god for this beautiful knowledge thanks prama kumaris thanks for this sunday evening talk and in on this special occasion i thank all sports personalities both the olympians and especially the paralympics players the coaches the staff the officials it is not easy to even compete at an international level and to win laurels for the country and making us proud we bow down to their hard work their own struggles their physical and mental challenges and we pray that god give them lot of blessings lot of inner strength lot of good health and all our good wishes 150 crore indians to keep continuing winning medals for india and medals for their own life with a deep sense of gratitude to all the players the coaches today i take a vow i will also be a gold medalist free for manger come what may at least back at our home we will become more peaceful loving we will interact with more patience because i am enlightened all i need is one second of real awareness it's so peaceful to talk to myself like this i am feeling light and relaxed and feeling good in case you have closed your eyes in that state of peace open your eyes and say with a lot of love om shanti rub your palms feeling the same vibrations of peace love touch your forehead your cheek your chin om shanti thank you good night i want you to sit back we have few moments of uh, you know the second part of today's program um, i request didi to come i hope you enjoyed fantastic so give a big round of applause for yourself